Hi guys, welcome back to Kingdom Talk with Josie. As you guys can tell, we have Miss Brenda in the house again. <laughs> we had to bring her back, guys, because we kind of left y'all hanging uh, in the other podcast. We did a podcast talking about relationships and uh, dating as a Christian, and we got got a little bit into spiritual soul ties, and we really wanted to bring that... Um, Really touch into that today. Really talk about that today. Yes. Uh, like she said, we left y'all hanging last time when we were uh, on the previous podcast. We talked about dating as a Christian. Yes. We touched a little bit on soul ties. So that's what we're going to talk again today. Yes, again. Because <laughs> guys, we had already recorded this. Yes. And then it just completely, you couldn't hear it. But uh, so we're going to talk about soul ties. Friend, what do you know about soul ties to your understanding? So soul ties is when you become connected with somebody. Okay. Um, one time I heard a pastor say, you know, being married isn't like when you go to church and you say your vows and you say yes i say yes he's like god sees marriage whenever you have intercourse with somebody when you connect you make a covenant with that person and he's like how many people have you been married to yes and then you're like i don't receive that i'm like no, I, that is a lie and just I kidding i was like whoa like that hit me yes. so hard um and i honestly i came to the revelation after a relationship i i was a breakup and i couldn't seem to like I, did, I, I didn't feel like I loved this person. I really didn't. But it was just like thoughts, dreams, memories. And I remember I told you, I was like, girl, I don't know. Like, I feel, I feel like this. But in that same, I was really close to God at that time after that relationship. And I just kept hearing so ties, so ties, so ties. And I started to read into it. I started to watch videos. And then I remember I told you, I'm like, girl, and you're like, no, you need to break them. You, you needed to renounce them. And she told me how to do it. And I'm like, oh my God, you know, God is so good. People have a hard time with it because they're like, oh, you know, like that could, it, they could take it like a little bit. Oh, it's being religious or whatever but no guys like everybody needs to know not just what so spiritual soul ties are but also how to break them. how to break them yes and i came to the revelation and i still remember i still remember the time because i was driving up uh, for a concert to houston and i remember i was gonna meet this person that i used to date that were broken up and i remember and he wasn't serving me i was already getting close to god at this point i'm like he's not even a christian like <laughs> why am i driving up and i'm still but driving, I'm still driving. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm still driving to meet this person but i'm thinking like why am i doing this mm -hmm. and praise god um he gave me a video by paula white she talked she spoke on soul ties and i remember driving it, I'm like, that's what it is. This is yeah. what I have. And I still remember uh, being in the hotel room because I had gone in there before. And I remember breaking the soul ties. I'm like, God, I put this soul tie and I break it in Jesus wow. name with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And I never saw that person again. I didn't even wow. go to the concert that's the powerful. next day. And I was just like, that's what it was. Yeah. Because like you said, you, you don't love this person. You know it's not good for you, but yet you're still there. Or yeah. you can say that it is love, but Yeah, and I was still I was still playing with it. You yes. know, I was like, you know, I'm, I don't like him. Like, but I would still answer his texts. Yes. And like, you know, he would send me flowers. And I was still like, like, you know, like I, I would say no, but it was clearly still <laughs> yes. But yes. I like really, I would be like, what is wrong with me, dude? I don't mm -hmm. like this guy. Like, I don't love him. Like yes. everything th that he did to me is so messed up. Like, why am I still doing that? And when I, when I, when I came Came into the revelation of what soul ties were i was like oh my dude i was <laughs> like i'm done is. i renounced to it in the name of jesus <laughs> and up the fire yes literally but when i tell you that set me free yes. that set me free and it made a it made a difference because if i would have stayed with that it would have hindered my walk yes and um you guys might be wondering uh what is a soul what do you yeah. mean when we say soul right uh but our god the creator of heaven and earth he is a triune god it's god there's jesus and then there's the holy spirit and we are made in the image of god mm -hmm. so we are also uh, a body we're also a spirit and we're also a soul and the soul is where you find all your emotions all your free will mm -hmm characteristics your personality the way you think um and then the bible you won't find the word soul tie but you will find the word uh souls being knit together mm. so it's you know play on words but they're when you knit they're getting combined um and there's good and bad soul ties yeah i know that you're um we've talked about this in the past and we're just going to give you a quick uh sample of a uh, souls being knit together in the first of samuel 18 and it came to pass when he had made an 
end of speaking unto Saul that the soul of Jonathan was knit with the soul of David and Jonathan loved him as his own soul. And many people might remember King David was someone after God's own heart. Mm. King David was just some person, not that he was perfect, but God really loved David, yeah. you know? And so that's a godly soul tie because that's a good soul tie. Jonathan, um, as people might know from the Bible, Saul, King Saul really was trying to kill David many times. Yeah. But Jonathan loved David. They grew up together. They loved each other. And they had a good soul tie. You know, they were friends for for life. Even mm-hmm. after Jonathan passed away, David still uh, hold on to that 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 bond. Amen. So yeah, so sh- that, that is a good soul tie, right? And I want to read about, um, because again, there's godly and ungodly, ungodly soul, soul ties, ties right? Correct. And you know, God feels strongly about this guys. Yes. Kings 11, one through four. Okay. It says King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, you must not intermarry with them. So God had told them like, you cannot intermate with them. Don't do it. Nevertheless, Solomon had Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives. That's a that's lot of a, souls. That's a lot of marriages. That's a lot of marriages. <laughs> a lot. Um, um, as Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God as the heart of David his father had been. So this is Solomon, the son of David. Yeah, we already said David was a man that um, you know he was after the the heart of God, mm-hmm. and Solomon because he was disobedient and because he chose to you know be mess around with all these foreign women that God told him don't do it. You know he was doing evil in the eyes of, of God. Yeah. So again, the soul is where your personality. You know mm-hmm. that's where the heart, um, your soul gets fragmented. Um, how she was talking about King Solomon, he went after all these women and they pulled his heart away from away God. from God. Because that's when um, that's when you start struggling with what that person is struggling. So the soul gets fragmented. So let's say um, kind of like a piece of paper. You become one. You're a full paper and you tear it in half. Mm. It doesn't cut perfectly. You know, there's edges and ridges. So that person took part of the, your soul and you kept a part of, uh, of theirs. And that is where God is telling you, don't do that. Because yeah. that's where we spoke on the last podcast. That's when you start struggling with the things that they're struggling yeah. with. And that's a big one because um, that is... When you start seeing that, why am I struggling when I've never struggled with this? Mm-hmm. And that is a soul tie. And that's, we're going to continue learning. I know that you spoke last time, friend, about struggling with some of the things that other person is struggling, but that's also part yeah. of the soul. Um, you start struggling with like just bad habits and you're like, why am I doing, why am I having these desires and these like fantasies that I never had before? But then you realize, okay, that person that was struggling with that, you know, anxiety, dep- anger, rage, yes. like... I, that was a big one. That and I, then you keep going back. So you're exactly, <laughs> and you know, you know, like, cause you see it, yes. but you don't understand. You're like, Oh, I just love this person. You know, like we've had so much history yeah, together. We're meant to be, meant to be <laughs> but when you come to this understanding, you'll see things for what it really is. Yes. And a, and a perfect example of that is in the book of Genesis, the book of Genesis chapter 34, you, you meet Dinah, which was the daughter of Jacob. Mm-hmm. And she was uh, kidnapped by Shechem, the Hivite. And he, rapes her and then it tells you in scripture his soul cling to her he loved her he wanted to keep her so much so friend that he had his men get circumcised so that he can keep her wow and this is a person that he raped you know he kidnapped he had her captive and society psychology will tell you that that is called stockholm syndrome that's when the abusee the person that's kidnapped keeps going back to the abuser or the kidnapper and you're just like what is wrong with exactly them? and like that's just to prove the word of god is so real guys yes. because we see it nowadays like we've all had a friend where or we've been there where like you know they, they're in this abusive relationship yes. where either they beat them or they've cheated on them and they keep going back and they and you as an outsider looking and you're like what, what is wrong <laughs> with you like don't you see and they go to you know i'm never gonna go back with them and then like two seconds later they're, they're back with they're them back. And you're like what yes. but it's it, it isn't until you come to this understanding like he's it a had, good guy yeah he's a good guy like you know we've been together for years and again we've either all been there or yes. we know somebody that's been there and that's exactly what happened like this man beat her raped her and she she still went back and he was like obsessed with her yes. like 
It's clear. And it's and that is where it's when we meet people and like she said, we've all had that friend or that person that keeps going to a bad relationship and we came to the understanding, praise God, that it's a soul tie. It's uh, a soul tie. I even I think I told you the story. Uh, my brother gave, called me. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> my brother called me and I was about to get off in Target or something and he tells me, Oh, I had a dream with an ex girlfriend, <laughs> which is weird because, you know, I don't think they even ever hooked up. It was just like <laughs> they liked each other. And he tells me the story and he's talking and talking. And I was just like, hurry up with the story. And then he's like, what do you think? It's a soul tie. You want to renounce it right now? And then he's just like, what? Yeah, we're going to break that right now. And then praise God. He repeated after me and we renounced the soul tie. We broke it. We placed it under the blood. And yeah, that's that's how we live. Eh? Yeah. And that's powerful. That's bold. Like, yeah. you know, because it's one thing to say, oh, like judging, like, oh, that's a soul tie, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, it's because he'd be messing around or whatever. <laughs> but it's like, no, it's a soul tie. Let's break it. In the name of Jesus, renounce to <laughs> yeah. it. You know, that, and that's really what and it's all about. And then they got off at Target and <laughs> went on with my day. <laughs> it's called serving the Lord. <laughs> For real. And there's different ways that you can form soul ties. Like this example, they were never uh, sexually involved. Uh, but then you can also build soul ties with relationships and friendships. Friendships. Yeah. Haven't you met groups and you're like, man, why are they talking the yeah. same? They even dress the same. Yeah. They think something's weird. Yeah, for sure. And it's because there's a soul being uh, tied. Like they're, they're becoming one. Um, and... If the friendship and the relationship is not edifying God, then that's a soul tie that needs to be broken because we want to have good soul ties that bring you closer to God, not pull you from God. Yeah, it's true. So it's not just like in relationships, yes. like, like, you know, but it's also in friendships. And it happened to me once, friend, mm-hmm. like I was in, I had this friend and everybody could see it. It was like, dude, why are you friends with her? Like, yes. this girl is not good for you. It's super clingy to me. Like, it really felt, it got to the point where it felt like this girl was like obsessing over yes. me like that's really how it felt and everybody was like dude it wasn't i, I went to church one mm-hmm. day and it was a sunday it was like a breakfast a, a woman breakfast right uh-huh. in church but i was becoming very distant from church yes. you know i hadn't gone to church in a while i was like let's just go i was like okay i'll just go the friendship was not edifying god. it was not edifying god it was not getting me closer to god it was like solomon it was bringing me away yes. from god you know what i mean powerful prophet dude and she's like everybody come to the front and i stayed in my seat i was like mm-hmm. i don't want to go up there you know like just because i feel unworthy i was like i yes. know all these things that i've been doing like I know I'm not walking righteously like why am I even gonna go up there right like that mentality that we have and she dude she starts praying before she prayed for anybody she went all the way to the back where I was at and she's like um, God wants to, God wants me to tell you that the person that, that you need to stop hanging out with the people that you're hanging out with, wow. um, because those people are not qualified to go into the place that you're qualified to. Wow. And she's like, we need to cut it now. And I was like, oh, like instantly I thought about her. Yes. And my mom's like, you know who she's talking yes. about. And I was like, dude, that is insane. Like, wow. like you know how how amazing is God though, dude? That he really like he protects us from our own agenda. Yes. You know what I mean? And at that time, I didn't know what soul ties were. But when I came to the realization, I was like wow god god you were really just protecting me yes. you know because then i i came after that like i realized she would she would like uh be into la santissima muerte uh-huh. and all these things and i was like oh my you know what i mean yes so yeah dude it's it, it can happen you no know, um his people perish for lack of knowledge if she was knowledgeable even in her end she could yeah cut the soul tie, exactly you know? because you have the knowledge so you broke the soul tie yeah. and you know hopefully she comes to Christ and can break that soul tie yeah. too because it's not a healthy, it's not a healthy union. Yeah, no. When you start obsessing over somebody, when you start like, you know, becoming controlling yes. and, and you know, it, again, if it is not edifying you and it is not getting cl- getting you closer to God yes. and like helping you walk in your purpose and your calling, then like, you know, you know, but yes. sometimes it's hard because when you don't know, you just have these feet, you go based off your soul, yes. off your emotions, off what you think, like, well, oh, I just love this person. And yeah, he's cheated on me and done yes. all these things to me, but he's a great guy. Yeah, no. You he's know, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good guy. <laughs> and it's like, no. Another thing that when I got the revelation of soul mm-hmm. ties, breaking soul ties, I had already, you know, gone through the whole breaking soul ties, but you know, sometimes there's things that stay there. Yes. You know, and I went to the we went to this conference with, with uh, a pastor Craig Log, yeah. right? And on my way back when I was coming, I don't know if I told you that I was coming, we were coming back and I was driving home and I was just praying and praying and like and God took me to like you have to throw away things that they gave you. Right. Yes. Girl, he, this man had or you know, 
purses, like bags. And I was like, I really like that bag. You know? <laughs> I don't even think about him when I wear it. <laughs> I mean, let me just be for real. But he took me, he's like, you got to throw those things away yes. because those things latch on. Like, you know, because I would randomly like have, like, I wouldn't think about this person anymore, but like randomly I'm like, oh, I wonder how he's doing, you yes. know? Like I would pray for him and stuff like that. But it's like, no, like you got to throw everything away. And th that's another thing. Yes. Items, especially items too, uh, can cost a soul tight because you grow to see uh, that person and that gift, yeah. you know, there's, there's intentions behind that gift. And yeah, sometimes it is hard. You don't want to throw away that expensive yeah. purse, or that jewelry. I don't or, want to throw. Yeah. <laughs> like it is hard. Um, but you know, also like cutting out communication with that yes. person. Like, yes. cause sometimes you know, people are like, Oh, well, I already, I already renounced. Like I already cut soul ties and I'm still feeling like that. I'm like, okay, have you cut communication from that person? We're still friends. We can yeah, be friends. We can be friends. Like, like oh, we've been together for years yes. and I'm not, we're not saying it like, Oh, but we've been there. Guys. Okay. <laughs> I've been there yes. where it's like, no, like no communication, no texting, no nothing. Because then you're also leaving an open door for that person. Yes. And, and it's always I mean? that joke of, um, we're broken up. But we're friends. Yes, <laughs> like, literally. Leave the little thing open. Literally, literally. Like, no. We can still go grab coffee and <laughs> yes. dinner and lunch. And I told him that I don't want to be with no. him, but I still yes. answer all his calls and his tags. Yes. You know? like, so no. that's not. That's also a soul tie that that needs to be fully cut from the root. Yeah. And that's one of the things that he told me. You need to pull it from the root, not just like cut it on the yeah. superficial level. Because again, not that we are judging, but because we have struggled where we, we want to stay friends. Yeah. We want to just keep communication. And it's like, God is, no. And not only does it hinder you, but it hurts you. Yes. Like, because this person, if, especially if that person is not bringing you closer to God, or they're not a person that are wa that's walking with God, um, then it's, you're, you're going to, you have these expectations from this person. And even though, though you guys are just friends, like you, you keep, you want to keep this person accountable. Like, yes. Oh, why? And at the end of the day, you're only hurting yourself. God is going to change them eventually. Yeah. <laughs> like we have that mentality. I, I've been there guys where I'm like, God, I can do it, but you can. And he's I like, know. girl, get, get out of there. I, I can be used God by yeah. you to bring them I am up. anointed. I know. And he's like, no, you are not their God. No. And we can be, we can try to be people. And we were talking about that. Me and my friend Yvette, like we can, try to be people's gods like you know in relationships even in, even with your children yeah. like you have to let them go through certain things and sometimes we want to like over hover like oh no god but why is he hurting and god's like i gotta do what i gotta do and, yes. you, and you gotta let that be but sometimes we want to be their god we want to provide for them we want to be there for them if they're hurting we want to make sure they don't hurt and god's yes. like they gotta you want you went through your process and that's what made you who you are today they have to go through oh, and that's hard, hard. yes that is hard as a especially parent. if you're controlling person yes. like you're trying to control the situation and i know i struggle with this when it's like relax yeah. like put it in god's hands because you want to know how's it gonna happen yeah. god like how is how can i make this better and yeah. god is like you're not me yeah. and it's hard to come to like turns with that but again once you get close to god yes. and he starts to give you this revelation and the whole and you start operating in the spirit and not in the soul and in the flesh then that's when you can tap into that it is and another thing that can also cause soul ties is vows and mm. declarations you know sometimes and again we're young we don't know sometimes and we're like i will love you forever or um, no. i'm never gonna love somebody as much as i love you like things that uh, makes you cringe yeah right? i'm like oh i was corny like i just couldn't <laughs> but like we also need to renounce those because mm -hmm. you know in numbers 30 god keeps you accountable for the things you say and declaring making those packs you know the that was the lawyer guys he he's yeah. gonna use the own the own scriptures against you so if you've said it you know we need to renounce that too yeah so there's a lot of ways that you can get a soul tie and there's now clarity and this is hopefully a revelation to you guys of that we need to break those soul ties we need to cut those ties yeah and again god has thought of everything he has sent his son and that is what we what we really want to do with uh being able to share this understanding that yeah. god gave us this revelation about soul ties and we're here to help you guys if you are feeling you know a certain type of way with this person or friendship or relationship like we can renounce it today if you want yes yeah let's do it guys again 
um you lose nothing with renouncing to things and honestly i yes. we're, we're gonna pray that the holy spirit just starts to give you guys revelation the names the people you know um because that's he's he's super wise guys like yes. if you start thinking about these people don't think like oh no like i haven't been with that person over 10 years yes. like that can be it but again there's things that stay there and it because you didn't know and because they were hidden in the dark and they were not exposed to the light like you didn't know but when the holy spirit comes he'll start to bring light to those things and then that's how you can be set free and honestly uh the holy spirit has the best memory he he's does. gonna bring into remembrance people and things that you're just like it can't be saw that. <laughs> you were there thought we were, i yeah. didn't even remember you know i didn't even remember <laughs> But uh, he yeah. does. So praying to the Holy Spirit and asking him, okay, God, uh, you know, I had wild days in my past. Bring into remembrance every uh, person, every situation, every word declared, every vow. Like, And you might want to get a notebook and yeah. then write it down. And that way when you're renouncing, you can uh, say that person's names, declare that situation, cancel those bo words or vows that you might have spoken, and we're gonna renounce that if you guys want to with uh, the following declarations. What do you think? Yes, friend? let's go. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Okay, so we're gonna. So, like we said, how soul ties are formed, which can be through fornication, close relationship, vows, and pledges. So we're gonna break them so we're we're not doing it in our own power we're not doing it by our own strength but we're gonna do it in the name of jesus so we're gonna declare in the name above all names of our messiah jesus christ all sins all fornication that has been caused by ungodly relationships be canceled in the name of jesus in the name of be jesus. restored in the name of jesus Amen. you ask god god every piece of my soul that that person took uh, that that relationship has taken from me father return it to me and any piece of soul that i have from that person or that relationship return it to them father yeah. make me whole and i ask you to make them whole mm -hmm. father i ask that you forgive them father because i forgive them you don't want any unforgiveness in your heart mm -hmm. because again satan is a legalist and he's going to use that against it against you so you know just ask god um return restore that soul and forgive that person and move on you don't want to be carrying that Amen. you know uh we also want to get rid of all gifts as this is something that you need to ask the holy spirit god am yes. i do i have any items in my house that i am holding from a previous relationship are there any ties uh, attached to these items that could be jewelry uh pictures i know i got a revelation with pictures wow. oh, um yeah pictures purses clothing items of clothing i remember you had yeah. mentioned clothing too oh yeah uh, sometimes you're keeping that person shirt or vice versa and you just plead the blood of jesus over every single thing and ask the holy spirit okay what do i need to get rid of it might hurt you might want to ignore the little voice yeah but get rid of it it's not worth it it's not worth it guys um also forgiving the person you need to i father i forgive that person for hurting me i forgive mm -hmm. that person for uh, taking advantage of me i forgive that person for not valuing me Amen. in jesus name and i set them free in jesus name in jesus name we also want to renounce all soul ties we want to sever all soul ties so as you make your list you say god i sever all soul ties in jesus name in jesus name um and that's basically it guys spirit like i said had me write a list and just so the um the enemy doesn't hold anything against Amen. you because just as the holy spirit has a good memory so does the enemy so we renounce and cancel all plans of the enemy against you against your relationship against your future partner um and just to make us whole actually in science i always love when science catches up to the word of god there they have actually found where the dna of that person is found in you of the person that you slept crazy. with um so i i just love when science yeah. catches up to the word of god because i'm just like god you're so smart he's so <laughs> smart for real it's like you're so smart uh, so yes guys uh that's why i wanted to share with soul ties again this is the revelation that he brought me and, and we were able to edify yeah. each other and cut uh, all soul ties 
Uh, if you're getting symptoms, having dreams, remembering, mm-hmm. that's a soul tie, guys. And if I'm you so- can't move on, you keep going back to that person. Yes, yes. And like you said, like no, it's not like maybe we're meant to be. No, no baby girl, guys, it's a soul tie. <laughs> I love you. I'm telling you, it ain't there. And not again. It, we're not saying it in a judgmental way, but because we've been there. Okay, yes. we've been there. And you, you gotta take it and just. I mean, you don't. You lose nothing by saying these things. Yes. And really, like. Like, think about it and be like, okay, is this person serving my life? Like, how many years have we been doing this? And we keep and we keep going back to the same. It's just like a, it's a, the same exact thing over and over yes. again. Like, you have to cut it from the root and let it go. And you have to also put in your work. You know, you'll renounce and God's going to forgive you and God's yes. going to do what he's got to do. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to cut out communication. You got to. And, and again, this is not just with relationships, but also friendships. Like really think, is this person, is this, am I, um, is this person edifying me? Like, are we uh, growing together? Is, is he bringing me closer to Christ? Yes. Like we have to like start to like evaluate these things, you know, because it's so important because these things will hinder you. These things will not. Um, not allow you to get deliverance like there's certain things that um affect us in such a way that we don't even know yes and honestly i always want to uh think or say that you know it's not a salvation issue it's a fact if you want to be free in your Amen. Amen. because sometimes you're like they're christian but then why are they struggling with this and god is god gives us his word you know revelation let's walk free let's be free not just be you know I believe in Christ, yes, but Christ is so much more than that. He is literally the answer to setting you fully free from Amen. all things. Amen. Uh, and I wanted to also end with First uh, Thessalonians five twenty three. Now may the God of peace make you holy in every way, and make your mm-hmm. whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless until our Lord Jesus Christ comes again. So Amen. I wanted to share that scripture yes. because it tells us how we're made and that He is you know, the savior that he is coming back and that he, he will make us whole. Amen. That was powerful. I think we can end with that. Yes. <laughs> yes, guys. And if you guys have any other questions, go ahead and put them down below. If you guys want to yes. want to get in connection with us and have more questions, want us to help you pray, yes. pray for it. We can do it over the phone. We can do it over FaceTime. Like we are, we wanted to bring this guys to light because we understand how important and we've seen how it has set us free. We've seen how it's helped us receive the deliverance and be able to move forward and grow spiritually with God yes. uh, through breaking these soul ties. And it's not just like, you know, it's easy to be like, oh, you know, because now we have that revelation and that understanding yes. and when we talk to her to people we're like oh dude you're dealing with a soul tie and sometimes you don't want to say it because you don't want them to be like oh you're judging but it's not like we don't just want to sit here and tell no. you like oh you shouldn't do this no we're telling you like there's a way that you can break this you can read in the word of god it says like you can you have you can do this and you will be set free so yes. we wanted to bring this to you guys so you guys don't feel like oh well, i'm just being judged like no god is here he has he is merciful he will forgive you he will restore yes. you and he's a, it's really the holy spirit that's going to help you get through it and like she said reach out if you want yeah. us to help you through it we'll get on the phone we can meet up you let us know so we can help you break these soul ties amen if you are feeling these symptoms because no it's not it's not normal amen it broken yeah so you guys can send me a direct message through facebook yes. or brenda i'm going to link all her information down below you guys can send us a message through facebook or if you guys follow us on any other social media platform just send us a message and guys yes. don't be don't be afraid don't be embarrassed we've been there yes. and that's why we're here today bringing this to life and i really hope you guys enjoyed this podcast i loved it and i know it's going to be powerful i know it's going to bless your life and it's going to edify your life in the name of jesus christ yes praise god all right guys well don't forget to subscribe like and comment and we will see you guys on the next video Bye. bye